Okay, here's a really good piece of advice for anyone who works in sales. In fact, anyone who works in real estate in general, who does a lot of phone prospecting. I heard this the other day and absolutely loved it. I actually loved it so much that I implemented it with my own team straight away and we saw instant results as a byproduct of using it. Now hear me out for a moment. How much phone prospecting do we do on a daily basis? A lot, right? That goes without saying. But how often in today's day and age do people just not answer your phone call. They just screen it, go straight through to the keeper, and it's potentially a missed opportunity. And how frustrating is that? I mean, I tend to average it out at about somewhere between 40 to 60% of people just simply don't answer an unrecognized phone number. Now with phone prospecting being such a pivotal point or a pivotal strategy inside our industry in order to prospect, when people don't answer your calls, it is so frustrating. So I heard this the other day, as I said, I've even added my own little twist to it, which I think will help all of you who are listening today. We've all got smartphones, okay? We're all aware of how clever smartphones are. How often have someone called you, you see the number come up, you haven't got the number saved in your phone, but it comes up below the phone number as maybe and then the name. So it might come up as the phone number and then maybe Jordan Bain below it. Now, if people recognize your name, it's gonna give you a higher likelihood of them answering it. If you see my name come through or someone else's name come through that you recognize, the chances of you answering that call are far higher than the maybe name not coming up. So let me show you how you can do that. What basically smartphones are designed to do is interconnect, okay? So it all synchronizes with each other. I don't know how it better to explain that, but they're smartphones for a reason, right? It all interconnects and synchronizes with each other. So here's a tip for you. Hopefully you're preparing your prospecting data the day before, the night before, whatever it might be, right? So let's say for example, you're getting your call sheets to start prospecting tomorrow. With your call numbers, what I want you to do moving forward is one of two things, if not two of two things, depending on your marketing budget. What you wanna do first and foremost is you want to send them an email. Send every single call list of contact that you're about to call the following day an email just basically giving some piece of value or a recent sale or a newsletter, whatever it might be, but send these people an email with a good hook that's gonna get them to open that email. Hear me out for a moment, it sounds crazy, but bear with me. What's at the bottom of your email signature? Your name, of course, but also your phone number. Now, as soon as they open that email, the phone is going to connect with that email and synchronize with that email and collect the phone number and store it in its data. And then when you give them a call the following day, it gives a higher likelihood of it showing up as maybe your name. It is brilliant. Once you start using it, you'll be so surprised how high your answer rates increase. Now, the ideal way to do this, of course, is through text marketing. Most of you should be doing text marketing. If you're not, trust me, you need to get onto the bandwagon of text marketing. It is so, so powerful. The open rates are through the roof. I think it's 90 two to 94% of people open text messages. Even if it's from an unknown number, they open it, they might delete it, but they open it. Now, if you send them a text message the day before talking about something of substance or something of value, at the bottom of that text message, you need to make sure that you include your name, your phone number, and potentially even your email address. If you can put a few pieces of information there or data points in there around your contact information, it gives a higher likelihood then that the phone's gonna recognize that, the person's or your audience's or your potential client's phone will recognize that. And then of course, if they open that, it gives a higher likelihood of them answering your call the following day. But here's the catch as well, or the trick that goes with it. If you do text messaging, if you've got the budget to do text marketing, what this also opens the opportunity for now is higher open rates on email marketing. So if you send them a text message first and include your email at the bottom, as well as your contact information, your phone number, not only will it give a higher chance they answer your phone call, it gives a higher chance that they actually open your email. There's a huge portion of emails direct from salespeople that go straight to people spam or junk. The way you can avoid this is by having recognition in their email. So if they open your text message, guess what? Their Gmail, their Outlook, whatever it might be, will then recognize that email through the text message and then it will give a higher likelihood that your email now goes to their inbox and not their spam or their junk. Okay, it is gold, guys. Should be using this. If you're not, start doing it now. Let me know how, the, how you go with it. But obviously, second to that, brand is powerful here. It's all well and good that you get your name shop as maybe. If people don't know you exist, then of course, they're not gonna answer your call anyway. So start by building your brand, okay? Building a profile, get the recognition, get the awareness, 
And then obviously you can start doing a lot of these things and it increases your likelihood of people answering and opening your emails. Talk to you soon, guys. Hope this helps.